number five on Tuesday night in Times U.S. Thank you. Well, let's talk about that Pac-12. Right? Oregon out of the playoff mix. Still have hope to make it a conference title game. Ducks on the road Saturday against their rivals from Oregon State. Ducks needed a Washington loss against Washington State to get into the Pac-12 title game. Deshaun Fenwick with a touchdown. Beavers trailed 31-10 at one point. It's 31-17 here. And the Ducks just kept giving them short fields. Early fourth quarter, after a big kickoff return and a face mask set him up, Isaiah Newell into the end zone for the touchdown. It's 34-24. Next Ducks possession. Punting from their own 15. Alex Bales bobbles a snap. He's down at the one. Again, great field position for the Beavers. Two plays later, Ben Goldwinson. They just push him in. It's 34 31. And two in Ducks possession. They may have panic here. Fourth and one from their own 29. Bo Nix, the only design quarterback win that they call in the game. And Jaden Grant was ready for it. Ducks turn it over on Dallas. Nix threw for 327 yards, but couldn't get. Good job done on the ground. Noel could with his offensive line pushing him into the end zone as well. Beavers with 21 unanswered points on 13 straight running plays for 136 yards. For the game, they ran for 268 with five touchdowns on the ground. Next Ducks possession, third and goal for the Beavers, too. Jordan James stopped. Ducks forced to go for it again. So here it is, fourth and goal. Mix. For the win. Mm. Incomplete. Ducks go 0 for 5 on 4th down. Most without a conversion in a game in the last 15 seasons. Oregon State receiver Ty John Lindsay said, I feel like we won the Super Bowl. But then after the game, Oregon's DJ Johnson had a confrontation with an Oregon State fan after the fan made a gesture in his direction. Johnson appeared to strike the fan. No word Saturday on whether he'll face any discipline from the school or the conference or whether law enforcement might get involved. Oregon said it was still gathering information about the situation. All right, so now with Oregon's loss, Utah back in play for a spot in the Pac-12 championship game against USC. Utes needed a Washington win over Washington State and a win on the road at Colorado. They had no problem with the second part of that. Captain Rising is Thomas Yasmin, who does the rest. Rising 17-19, 234 yards. He had only two incompletions, but three touchdown passes. With some help from the leaping Yasmin, Utah up 28-0. Early third quarter, they're up 42-7. Jaquindon Jackson finds a hole, and he's gone. 66 yards for the touchdown. He ran 10 times for 117 yards. Utes ran for 383, averaging 9 yards a carry, and they win big. All right, this game has deciding potential when it comes to the Pac-12 championship game. Washington, Washington State in Pullman. About 10 minutes left in the half. It's Michael Pettix Jr. passes to Jalen McMillan. Back to Pettix. Gotcha! Runs the ball for 30 yards and finds the end zone. Washington now takes a three-point lead. All right, now start with the third. Washington up one point. Pettix to McMillan. Yep, these two know how to work it. A 75-yard score. Watch him just race his way down. Washington extends that lead to seven. And they take command after that. Fourth quarter, Penix under center to Roma Dunze. So now with the Washington win, Utah will beat USC in the Pac-12 championship. <laughs>